Hey guys, Tom here from Beyond Examination. Today we're going to be looking at something you might not think a lot about when you're making your gamer setup, your tech setup, but it's really the foundation of it all, and it's your desk. Um, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on getting a good gamer chair, which I, I totally recommend, but your desk is what holds up all that expensive tech that you love. So it's really important, and it's something that's overlooked, and I want to show you an option that uh, might work for you. There's a company, Game Deus, that makes a really neat looking desk, and we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to have to build it and then show it to you guys. But before we get into that, I want to show you what I have here and kind of the idea that went into when I was looking for a desk. Um, there's a few options you can go with. Uh, you could go to your local Walmart or Target and pick what they have there, but there's going to be some inherent risks and things that just don't make it a really great option. First of all, the ones you're going to find there are going to be pretty small, usually. And if you have a lot of stuff like me, you're going to run out of space pretty quick. And it's just, you know, it almost, I had a desk that felt like it was made for a child. It was so small. And you don't know this till you get it home and really start putting things together that you realize how small these big box store desks actually are. Another problem that you usually run into with these these uh, Target and Walmart desks is they're made out of compressed board. So over time, those screws and bolts, they begin to loosen under the, the weight and the strain and the movement. And you just end up either with a wobbly desk or one that even fails on you, which is not a good thing when you have a lot of expensive stuff on there. So, you know, last but not least, a lot of times I've found with these cheaper desks is... The minute moisture from a soda can or even from your hand just, you know, moving around for the mouse, it starts to bubble up the finish on these things. And it looks really bad after a while. It looks like somebody, you know, held a lighter to it to start melting it. And I've had this happen with a few of those desks. So really, you get what you pay for. I'm not saying these desks at the, these places are cheap, but, you know, it's just not the best option. Your next option is on the other end of the spectrum, and you go online and you order you know, one of these really fancy business office type desks, you know, ones you might see in the more uh, successful, you know, richer YouTube videos. And they're great. I mean, they're going to be great desks, but the thing is, they're going to have huge price tags associated with them. And it is a bit of overkill, you know. It, you know, it looks nice and all that, but I find that, you know, spending a lot of money doesn't always equal having the best thing. And um, what I did is... This is the third option, and I thought it was pretty smart at the time, was I needed just something sturdy that's wide and has a lot of surface area for, you know, my huge monitor, all my goodies, and then I could be also be able to do my videos here when I need to. And I decided, hey, I'll go down to my local home improvement store and pick out one of their big picnic-type tables, you know, the ones you see at yard sales that fold up. This is a nice, thick plastic, sturdy and it should be great for all my needs, and it has been. It actually has been great for a while, and I've had this for, I can't tell you how long, but what I've noticed is, first of all, it's not gonna look great in every room. Like, it doesn't look too bad in here, but it is a piece of outdoor furniture, and it's kinda like having a lawn chair in your house. So if you have a more stylish adult house, it could look out of place. Uh, secondly, even though this is a very nice sturdy piece, um, it's starting to bow. Right under the monitor, if you look really closely, you can actually see a slight bow. So at this hinge joint, I'm expecting if it keep on using this, will snap, and all my good stuff's going to come tumbling down and break. So that won't be great. So to find this pretty cool table that kind of matches my style, uh, I'm really excited to try it out. So what exactly makes this game DS table really different um first of all it has a mouse pad as its entire top surface so not only is it going to be soft to the touch and you know your mouse is going to be better off for it it's also not going to get bubbled up like the finish on those cheaper desks um it's from what i understand an all metal construction so it's going to be sturdy enough to hold all your goodies it has LED lighting, which is all the rage for everybody now, as you know, everything you have from keyboards, mouse, mouse pads, to even the headphone stands light up. So you got that also on there. And it also has this neat little uh, hammock underneath that can hold the surge protector up, which I'm really interested to see because 
At the moment, my surge protector, which is completely loaded up with at least 12 plugs at the moment, kind of lies in the back under here behind stacks of my equipment. So it kind of stays back there and doesn't get cleaned often, which is horrible because you know that is a fire hazard. So having it lifted up means that I could keep an eye on it. So I'm really interested in seeing how that works. And it'll help with cable management so things look a little tidier. So it's going to be, I think, a really great choice. But it's going to take me a while. Um, it's just a table. I don't expect it to be hard to build. But I've got to clear out my current setup. Lug this guy upstairs because the box itself is about 80 pounds, which tells you it's going to be a nice sturdy desk, and then build it. So we're going to end the recording here, and when we come back, I'll have the desk all set up, and I'll let you know how long it took, how difficult it was, and then we'll take a closer look at it. Hey guys, I'm back now. It's been about an hour and a half, give or take. I did take my time doing this, and I'm not really great at putting together furniture, so you can gauge it that way. Um, instructions were very simple. Um, one thing I'll have to actually show you guys. If you were thinking of building this with a baby, uh, think again. Because babies can't build things and they're here to tell you that. So, no babies, but people. I did this alone. You don't need two people, but you definitely don't need a baby. But anyways, um, other than that, I'm super impressed with this. Uh, I knew it was going to be cool and I knew it was going to be sturdy, but, um, what we're going to do is in a second I'm going to go handheld mode and take you around to show you all the features. But I want to say right off the bat, if you've ever had um, a weight bench at home, one of those personal ones, you know the kind of construction they are. They're metal, like this is. They're heavy duty, they're not going to break. And they're kind of lightweight too because they're usually hollow. That's a lot like what this is made out of. It's a lighter weight bench, strong metal, and a solid top. This is actually a mouse pad, a giant mouse pad that goes across the top here. So um, I'm going to go handheld mode so I can show you the lights on this thing and uh, the sides and everything like that. And then once we're done doing the walk around, I'm going to put all my stuff back on here so we can see my setup looking like on this. But I got to say, this is rare to see at my desk just with the laptop on here. And I have the laptop on because right here is the cord that... You need to plug into something to um, get the lights. But my surge protector, which should rest under here with all the cable management, is on such a short leash, I can't get it up there. So I'm going to order a surge protector with a longer cord, and then I'll be set to go. But I'm going to go ahead and take us handheld and give you guys a tour around the desk. All right, starting up top here, we've got the mouse pad. Um, like I said, this is really nice. It's got the anti-skid back, and it's got a really nice, I'm not sure what this material is, if it's plastic or wood, but this is a very nice material underneath if you wanted to bypass the pad, but the pad just feels really great. Around front, you've got some of these stickers. If there's one thing I can knock this for is there's some of the uh, logos or just stickers on this, and they kind of cheapen it. I mean, they could have went without or some other way, and I think it would have been better off, but it's like the only knock I could give them is the, the stickers. But, um, no, it's got the, uh, see how it bows in there, so you can actually get closer to the desk. And then on this side, you got your stickers again, and then Daedalus M1 Gaming Desk. It's really nice looking. Now on here, on the side, you have the lights. And here's also, before we get into that, the legs. See how sturdy these things are this is all metal in the framework underneath we'll get more underneath in a second but they have the adjustable legs uh, i mean the adjustable feet here so you can get it level but these are very sturdy legs and then it's metal up here metal everywhere pretty much but here is the light strip now it's the same on each side there's a light strip and the way you operate it is there's a little hidden compartment here now you open it up and underneath you have your power switch so you can Turn it off completely, or you turn it on, and then you can, this is brightness, this here is brightness. But I'll leave it on extra bright, and then you can cycle through it. They have solid colors, and then they have this, and you know what, I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the lights so we can get the maximum effect. Okay, here we are without the lights on, so it's going to be a little hard to make out some stuff, but you'll see what we do when we start shifting through the lights. 
That's pretty cool. It's really neat, and I'm surprised by how bright it is because it is only powered by the single USB. Um, I probably, when I get the surge protector, will put it on its own dedicated plug instead of using my laptop USB. But very cool. You can make it your own. And me, I'm kind of basic like this. I kind of like it. That's It's coming up orange on the video, but it's just a really nice bright red. And it kind of matches the legs. So I really do like that one. And then shifts. But there's tons of choices here to go through until you find the one that fits you best. So we're going to go ahead and go underneath so I can show you guys some of the features down here. Now, right back here is a little shelf that you can drop your surge protector in. At the moment, it looks like it could take a pretty decent sized one, but as you can see right here, I have a huge Belkin one. I don't know if that will work with that one. I might be able to rest it in there and it, it might teeter totter, but should be safe. But if it doesn't fit completely in there, what I can do is they also have this big net on the bottom here. Spans almost the entire bottom. And that's for cable management. So when your cables come out of there, you can rest them in here. But really, I think if I had to, I could probably put my surge protector in here as well. So that's really nice because I always have cables hanging everywhere. It looks awful. I always wanted one of those setups where it looked a lot better like people do on YouTube. So that's going to help a lot in doing that. And just again, you're going to see metal everywhere. This is not going to fail you. Um, and that's great to see that this is going to be something that's going to hold up to the test of time. And one thing that I want to show is there's those stickers again. They're not so bad, but again, I would have rather they left them off or did them in some other way. But no, solid construction. Really happy. I'm beyond happy with this. I, I, I really didn't think it was going to be this awesome. Really solid. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to put most of my stuff back on here so we can see what it looks like all loaded up. Well, okay guys, here we are. Everything is set back up and I love it. I did not really, I knew this was gonna be cool, but I did not think I would love this so much. It's like I have my own little command center here now. Everything's set up like I want to. Got the Echo Show over here in the, the corner and it's just beyond awesome. I really love this. Um, I'm going to get some cable, uh, something to hold my cables so I can do a little charge station on this side here. But I got my wireless charger, my Galaxy S5e over there. I'm just set up and ready to go and I could not recommend this enough. You know, I usually don't gush over things, but when something kind of takes me by surprise, I gotta say I really like this desk. Even if it didn't have the lights in it. Just the fact that this is a nice sturdy desk that has, you know, this cutout that allows you to get in real close. And it's just got a beautiful amount of space for all my goodies. I'll, I'll get out of the picture here so you can see everything. Just really cool, guys. Um, if you're interested in picking it up, I'll leave some links in the description below. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It really helps the channel. You guys, as uh, YouTube viewers, probably don't realize this, but... It really does mean a lot to us smaller guys when you do hit a like, when you do subscribe. I love to hear it when people contact me on Twitter or in comments and tell me if they enjoy a video or if they think they would like to see something differently. I like that communication. That's awesome as somebody who's trying to create something. So make sure you do that. Uh, links in the bottom, like I said, you're going to be able to find out and look this up for yourself. And it's just a really cool desk. I gotta say that, guys. But, um... Yeah, um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Flickr. I don't really do Flickr that much. Any of those at EdgeLimited13. Twitter, I'm always trying to post deals or pop culture stuff. And Instagram's just, you know, Instagram. So, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.